All right, I hope things go better this time. <laughs> Hi. So I'm hoping my sound is still good. Now that my camera had to do its own thing. Hi, Robert. Austria, awesome. Hi again, Violet. <laughs> Ah, oh, good, Marie. I'm glad. My camera, it seems like it's having, a, I'm just going to move my hand in front of it because I think it's just auto-focusing and having the time of its life here. Hi again, Linda. Great. I'm glad the sound is good. It sound wasn't prob a problem this time, but my camera just went crazy. So look at it, it keeps jumping. Oh, well, we're just gonna have to live with it. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, you guys ready to do some creative stuff? Hi, Michelle. All right, well, um, I'm just gonna give people a few seconds and see how many people just jump back on. See what's uh, going on. So have you been good this week? Thanks, Linda. <laughs> You're so sweet. I pulled out these weird colors today. Um, but maybe we could uh, talk a bit about them. So what I have here is uh, Venetian rose. I've never used this before. Hi again. Yeah, my video just uh, cut again. Um, and I'm using Aurora Umber Natural. And that's that. And I pulled out a turquoise green. And I was like, I don't know what to paint with today. So anyhow, these are the three colors that I have here. So that is um, the turquoise green with some of that uh, raw umber in it because I'm, I don't really like when my colors are like baby colors. I don't know. They're really pastel, baby pastels like. I don't like that. So I like to mute them. So that's what I did there. And I did the same with the, the pink. I muted it a bit. And then I put some white in that um, raw umber. So, um, as I said, I had no idea what I wanted to work with today. So I just pulled out those three colors and I figured graphite is always uh, fun. And then I have some charcoal. Hi, Annie. Hi, Belgium. Um, so what I figured I'd do was I'd start with these. And I'm just gonna pull a color that I want to use. I don't mind that it's not one of the colors that I'm already 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 working with. Oh, you did, you Linda, huh? <laughs> I don't use pink that much. Well, a bit, but not much. All right, so I'm just gonna have fun. I don't know what's gonna come of this, but let's just see. So I'm just laying the graphite down in different directions to get like variation on my lines and I think I'm gonna maybe I'll come in with the brownish I think this is a brownish in here and I really like using these with um with gesso and I'll show you what I do Surely, that's so nice. <laughs> you can always watch the replay, you know. <laughs> Eat your dinner. Um, so I'm just going to use some of the gesso. Just to put down some here and there. I'm not really thinking about where it's dripping or anything. And I'm going to show you what I like about this. Because I love the way 
the colors from that graphite block turn out. They're so awesome. And they're really pigmented, so the colors that uh, you create from them, they're really, really, like, full, if I can say it like that. And now I just have the gesso, so I don't have that much pigment pigments on here, and it turns into, like, a lighter green. And I'm kind of liking that. So just picking up the gesso from wherever on the page. And again, I'm doing this so that, because I like it, and because I don't want that, that uh, those marks to move that much when I start painting. Because if I come in with lighter colors, they're going to move all over the place. I could also just spray them, but then I'd have to go out, and I don't want to do that. All right. We don't like that, but you know what I want to do? I want to come in with some pencil marks. Oh, guys, I'm, the, I, I'm flipped the wrong way. I see that now. I should be the other way around. I don't know if I can do that. I have to check that out until next time. Because now you watch me upside down, I guess. Um, all right, so I'm just going to make some marks. Not thinking at all where they go or anything. We're not even thinking what they're looking like or anything. I'm just be trying to be as free as possible. I'm just scribbling a bit. No words or anything. Just making believe I'm like I'm writing. <laughs> Yeah. Only 11 degrees. Yeah. Hi, Matt Marlene from Canada. <laughs> Welcome. Glad to see you. Yeah, it's cold here. To, it's been cold here, but not today. It's warming up here. I don't know. There's a storm that's on its way, so we'll see what happens. And now we're going to take some of that light... Uh, um, it's almost the same color, so that was boring. I should have picked another. Um, maybe I'll come in with some of that blue instead. I should have picked another color instead of the green, right? Put some of that up there. And I'll put some of that umber in there and just mix it up. Oh, I like that blue. Ah, that I really like. I want more of that. Put some of it here, too. Mm, I like that. Ricky, the Netherlands. Oh, we're getting some people from the Netherlands here. How nice. All right, I'm going to keep going on my gesso again, putting pretty much down there because I want to lighten up that blue that I just made. Pulling it out and just lighten, brighten it up a bit. Put some of it over here and maybe. Kind of like that. Maybe I'll just pull it all the way out here. Yeah, I'm liking these colors. Um, Marlene, those are just Derwent XL graphites. So these are really fun to work with and they last forever. Believe me, I've used these a lot and I probably even touched, <laughs> touched them. So they're really good. All right, we're gonna try with some of this pink too, see what we can do. I don't wanna come in with a lot, just a bit. I'm not sure I like it. So I'm just gonna see what it does to the 
painting. Maybe I don't know what my fingers, right? Well, it's not that bad. I'm not a big fan of pink. I don't know why I pulled that out today. Oh, all right. Let me move my microphone. Let's see. We'll see if we can put it over here instead. Is that better? Let me know if that's better. Um, and I'm going to put down some white paint too now. Yeah, I like them too, Anne, but I'm not sure about that pink though. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of pink. So the white I put down now is um, zinc white. So zinc white is not like titanium white because zinc white is uh, trans translucent. So you can kind of see through it and you can see what it does to the paint, right? It's really, it just thins the paint out in a way. So instead of using that white that would that's heavy and uh, opaque, it's like really translucent, translucent. And I'm gonna use some more of that. And what it does is it thins out the paint so that the paint becomes you know you can see through it. You can almost see through the plastic there. Good, Annie. Thanks for telling me. Thanks, Gina. Yeah, they're not bad, but I don't know. We'll see with the pink. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. But I think I'm going to come in with that charcoal mark again. I want, oops, I want to make my marks, get my marks back. So sometimes you just have to, when you use these in wet paint, just dry them off so that the paint doesn't dry on them. It's still there. Is it my zipper? Let me see. It could be my zipper, you know. All right, I'm just gonna see if that helps. That's gonna make noise now for you. All right, try it there. See if it helps. All right, I'm gonna keep on going, I'm putting some more of that zinc white over the blue. Just see what happens to it. I don't know if I really like that, but I'm gonna come in with some of that uh, blue green that I added the um, raw umber to. Uh, Maybe just use my finger on it. It's my brush marking. Really? I don't know how you can hear that, but my microphone must be really good today. Wait, let me see if the sound is really loud on it. That could be. No, it's not. <laughs> 